It's Madden NFL 22, and today's clash of conferences is just moments away. It's the Dolphins and the Hawks, and it comes your way next. We are in the Pacific Northwest as we get set for football at Century Lake Field here in Seattle. Straight ahead, we've got a good one on tap here between the Miami Dolphins and the Seattle Seahawks. Here's the kicker, Jason Myers, to get this one started. And off we go from Seattle. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now, Tua Tungabailoa gets set to lead this Dolphins offense for the first time. Absolutely no one's surprised that Dolphins did invest a high first-round pick, number five overall to draft Tua in 2020. I think that most people would say that his rookie year had plenty of positives, but it was sprinkled with a few negatives as well. Remember, he controversially took over for Ryan Fitzpatrick during the open week prior to week eight. Miami did go six and three in his starts from that time, but he had to get rescued a few times in games by Fitzmagic. And in his own words, he called his rookie year below average. I don't think the franchise believes that, but they're looking forward to seeing him improve. And he's gonna be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Seven yards to pick up there. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. A nice substantial run there by Gaskin, who was the Dolphins' leading rusher in 2020. 584 total yards in just seven starts and got stronger as the season went on. Not bad for a seventh-round pick in 2019. He was drafted number 234 overall that season. Now an open man. That's the tight end, Gesicki. It's complete. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. To throw again on second down. Tua. They get this out wide to Gaskin. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. It really gets them amped up as they go forward. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll be a second down. I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets locked in. Your confidence jumps up. Everyone's easy about what they're doing out there. And by the way, they're looking at the sideline thinking to themselves and expressing, just keep throwing it. We're doing pretty well. And he won't get much. Maybe a couple. Down inside the 35 and the 34. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. Two and now on first down. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And brought down, but not before they Let's get go. it inside the Let's 10 go. to the 7. 
The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. We saw this jumping jack make steady improvement his first three years in Miami. And he topped it off with 53 catches last year, career high. Now in his fourth season, I expect his numbers to continue to rise. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. Tua sets up to pass it. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Well, he gets attended to, we'll step aside. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Here's Tua. And they're going to get to him. A sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. When you're this close to the goal line, you got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker. defense get the stop on the opening drive. Here's third and goal. Here's Tonga Vailoa to throw. To a hit, and the ball is out. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Seattle's offense ready to go here for the first time, and leading them is the seven-time Pro Bowler in his 10th 